What else do we need to know here? Yeah, it's basically a scaling back of what Apple planned to do. Sources are telling us that, as you say, 2028 is now the launch target for an Apple EV. Uh, it had been 2026, but they're also rethinking what that product looks like. Sources are saying that they want to do something which is more lower level of autonomy. Think level two, something more akin to Tesla's current capabilities with autopilot. You know, Apple has been working on this secret car project for almost a decade and it started out with the idea that this was going to be super high-end almost fully autonomous with a high price point but it's just seen high turnover of leadership and executives and the team working on it little progress and what we understand from sources and bloomberg's mark german's reporting is that there were meetings over a big chunk of 2023 between the board tim cook the ceo of apple and kevin lynch who leads the car product um, uh, project alongside the apple watch where they basically said, we need some progress here. And the net result is this rethink of scaling back of both the timeline, but also of what the end product will look like. All right, Ed, I'm just curious about the stock reaction while we have you here. Are investors relieved to hear this? Yeah, a little knee jerk. I see a, a little leg lower and then a rebound in the stock. I mean, the reason we pay attention to this, simply put, is Apple is a giant in the world of consumer electronics, right? Think about the volume of installed devices across iPhone, Mac, and wearables. We've long discussed their entry into the automotive market, but it hasn't gone very well. And because they are operating at the higher end of the market, there's a question about whether they'd ever be profitable making a product like this. But think about the benefit it would bring to the top line revenue if, as Mark German says in his piece, they sold a $100,000 EV based on their track record in producing high volume goods and their global reach and until very recently their position as the world's most valuable company. It's an interesting product and new category entry to, to watch. And so we do and investors do as well.